Hello and welcome back to Baron Plays. Um, this is probably going to be a quick one, um, mostly to show off my broken uh, wizard build in Diablo 3 this season. You've probably seen it around. It's a um, perma explosion build. Uh, this, so this is probably for those who haven't seen it. Um, you may find it novel and just stupidly overpowered. Um, so in about three, two, one, let's give it a go. Uh, now I'm fairly new at it, so it's possible I will die. I'm going to do a Torment 10 equivalent, as that's what I'm easily able to do. I'm using a variant of it. But it's um, pretty easy. The hard part is getting um, the weapons, really. A Wand of Woe and an Ingeon. Uh, neither of which is, is easy to acquire. Now, there's a lot of button mashing involved. This is where the fun starts. After you kill an elite pack, Ingeon triggers. And what that means is you are running around permanently exploding. Now, because of how noisy this build is, I'm not going to talk too much. Um, I'll give it a rundown at the end, but largely I'm going to let my uh, build do the talking. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy the ride. Now I have to be careful with reflect damage um, because I put out simply an obscene amount of damage. Like watch, so that was Rift Forty Five. Yeah, that was Torment Forty Five. Mm. Um, and we just <laughs> ripped through it. Um. I'll grab my tag hook, I'll get at least a 35. I'll be quite a she. Back to town. So you can see we did that one pretty quickly. Um, I'll spend some gems with Kadar. Now I think I'm after chess pieces. Because what I'm trying to get is some, um, trying to pick up an ancient Talrash's chest piece. Grab those shards. Back to town. 
and then I'll melt down my stuff and rinse and repeat. Um, while I'm doing this, some general sort of housekeeping bits and pieces. Um, yes, my series is still on the way. It is still just waiting for that um, for the new mod pack, mod pack version. Um, while Resident Rise 3.3 has gone out, there hasn't been a new version of the Yogs Cast Pack yet. So as soon as that one goes out, three minutes, yeah. Three minutes, ten seconds for a level 45 rift. That is insane. Let's see if... Uh, let's do 48. Why not? See how far we can push it. Oh, I've not really pushed this build. Um, I kind of got it quite quickly and then left it for a while. I was playing some EVE. I'm playing in... Um, Um, I'm playing Empyrean's group in EVE. So I've been playing a bit of that. Uh, I've been playing some Hearthstone. I was doing a little bit of behind the scenes stuff in Rule the World. Nothing much. Um, as it's just kind of really just came back. Um, but yeah, so I haven't really done much playing around with this build. Um, once I got it, I kind of ran a, you know, ran a few rifts. Uh, a number of rifts, admittedly. And then kind of left it. Oops. Um, so I haven't push it as far as it can go. It's just looping around again. Okay, I have to watch those. Oh yeah, that's not good. Molten is another one that's really important to watch out for. Just because they can and will tear you apart. And they seem to come up a lot. I don't know if it's... Damn it. See, there we go. Um, I don't know if it's this season or... Or what, but this... Yeah, I'm just coming across a lot of Moltons. It's really annoying. I lost my... um. Chains is okay. There we go. Got in going back. We'll just blow through. Teleport as much as we can. And there we go. Damn. Oi. Out of that, double blast. Okay, we're exploding again, so let's take advantage of this. Shield pylon, don't mind if I do. Now, what I'm not as good at yet is staying as mobile as I need to. Because a big part of this build is about sort of constantly grabbing elite packs so that you know you can maintain in gear. If you can't do that, you lose it and become far less effective and far less immune to damage because you still take lots of damage. What you're really saved by is the fact that you put out so much damage that you're almost impossible, you know, as soon as something comes near you, it dies. Now watch this. 
There we go. Um, yeah, let's get that to 35, and then we'll start on my Bane of the Traps. Now, Bane of the Traps synergizes with my teleport, because I'm using Calamity, so I teleport and stun. Uh, ooh, that's another Wand of Woe. Please be ancient. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's not an ancient. Now... I have some wizard friends that would be really annoyed they won't hear me. Oh, wow. Well. Well, 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 well. Ooh, let me see that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one in terms of re-rolling it. Um, probably change life per hit to cool down I think I think I think I think as you can see I've got a whole lot of Ramlandi's gifts so you guys got to see me get a um ancient wonderful <laughs> Which is um, a fairly uncommon occasion, shall we say. Oops, wrong one. Um, always check. Yep. Cool down 6%. We can go for 10. 8%. I'll try not to um, spend too long doing this. If I can get it quickly, all the better. But there we go. Oh, that's resources. Done. There we go. So that was incredibly quick. And that, um, that's a pretty good one to woe. Now let's spend some shards. My back. Ugh. Damn you, Kadala. Right, can we go again? Uh, 50, which is the equivalent to Torment 11, if there was a Torment 11. Yeah, yeah, we probably could have gone a few. Oh, gugh. Sorry, I hate these bugs. I hate them. They are just a terrible mob tile set. Yeah, they're definitely a lot more resilient. Stun them. Ah, that's why. In game only procs once the entire pack is dead. So if there is part of an elite pack that hasn't died, in game will not proc. Yeah, things are definitely living longer now. I, mean, I can't say I'm surprised, this is Torment 11. Effectively. Ooh, okay. It's quite annoying that I went down 11 and I've still got these damn bugs. But I guess the tile set tends to be fixed somewhat. Okay, stay away from that. Teleport through. Despite the fact that I'm Torment 11, it's pretty light on the elites. There's some. Oh god, they're bugs. 
Now I'm having to use my health potions a lot more. And things are living longer between... Like I'm spending more time exploding on stuff. Now I took a friend through on their leveling their alt. Um, they had a gem, a gem of ease to level 25, so that helped. But with me playing this build, with and them using a level 25 gem of ease on their character, it took about an hour to get them from level one to level 70. This character, this build is just supremely fast and basically what happens is um, they just follow me around oh yeah I'm staying well away from that they follow me around at a safe distance I will just go through on a torment 6 run and explode everything till it dies the advantage of this build is that when I'm doing my fast explosions, nothing can really survive. Because I simply put out so much damage that um, nothing has the opportunity. Is that a nightmare? I think that was nightmarish. Well. That was pretty quick. 3 minutes 54 on Torment 50. Oh well, up we go again. Now I got a seasonal thing. Must be for the next. But it was above champion. So I need to get 3 gems to 35 and I need to master a set dungeon. I should probably do one of those at some point, but I'm not going to do one now. Um, yeah, let's do one more rift, probably 55, which I guess will be Torment 12. Not sure capacity increase with thousand. Excellent. 53. See how long it takes, eh? Okay? If it's quick, I might do one more after. Now one thing about it is that even though I'm not um, killing them as super quick, you know, my non super explodey build, um, I nevertheless make everything burn forever. Oh, it's close. Because um, I have Firebirds to uh, part 4 piece, which means that if over a certain amount of damage, things will burn forever. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's those guys. Yeah, sometimes when you pop a shrine, you'll get guys that do like damage immediately. Those guys are among them. And that can mean all things go quite poorly for you. Even if you're exploding a billion times an hour. Oof. Again with those guys. Now the good thing is, is that that was a channeling pylon. And the channeling pylons persist through death. 
what that means is effectively it's almost like having in Geons on. Really hate t um, Act 5 mobs. The angels they added for Act 5 are just painfully annoying. More of those guys. Okay. <sighs> Good old Act 5 mobs. Gotta love them. I mean, I'm at no risk of failing. Let's just go ahead and stun them while I wait for my explosions to trigger back. There we go. Shield pylon. Doesn't matter what comes out then. Oh, it's Stone Singer. Without my explosions, I don't kill him as quick, but I still did all right. What time is that? Oh, 3.48. What's this thing? Some weird fissure of his. Stone cold. Now all I really have to do... Up and at gem, up and at gem. Uh, let's see, we've got a few paragon levels out of that. Okay, look, we'll do one more. We'll see if we can do 55. I mean, we cleared that one with, with well, we died a couple of times, I, I will admit. We cleared it with a lot of time to spare. I've got enough gem space, uh, bloodshot space. But I should be okay. Let's just dump off that stuff. I'll sort through my loot off camera so you don't have to watch me just. Because I'm pretty sure one of the pieces I've got is a crusader or a monk chest. Uh, set piece. 56. Let's see how we go. Now, I kind of have to let myself rev up a bit, so I can't leap too far in. Whee! Yeah, I think I've kind of reached the real cap of this build. While I can do... I mean, I'll be able to do this. Oh, shh, bugger. I'll be able to get this done, but in terms of efficiency and speed run, it kind of caps out around about 11. I think, or oh, Torment 11 that is. So 55, or I don't know. 50. About rank 50 is about as far as we can go with this. Torment 10 we're good with. But when it comes to greater rifts, 50. Big loop. A big annoying loop. Ah, oh, that's why. Let's just get off that level. Oof. 
inflict damage, so I gotta be careful here. Stun them. Now I don't want to activate this until I'm well and truly exploding. So I can very quickly clear them up. Let's try and get moving. I do dislike when my thing times out. Yeah. Molten and Arcane is a rough combination. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I can get up within 3, 2, 1... Last thing I want to do is die before, um, oh, sorry, have him die while well, I'm still dead so I don't get advantage for the in -Gaons. More explosions. See what I mean about Molten coming up a lot? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But if you're playing this season and I have been seeing a lot of Molten, leave me a comment, eh? I will be very interested to hear from people if this is the norm. Oh look, oh, what a surprise. Molten yet again. Shield pile, yes please. Ooh, that was well timed. Because all ash as well is um one of the more annoying ones for me. Am I really that full on blood shards? Okay. Five minutes. I mean, as much as whiny as I have been about that, that was actually all right. Yeah, you know, five minutes for torment fifty six, whatever. It'd suck if I was um if I was hardcore, because I'd be dead. But I can't complain about that. That was all right. Um, what I think I'll do next time I do a rift, I'll um. Empower it just so I can even them all off to the same level, and then I'll just spend one upgrade each time on them um, and keep all three of them the same level on par. Anyway, that'll do for now. I will um, you know, go through my stuff, etc., 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 but I'll do it off camera. You don't need to see it. Um, so, there, that's the build. That's kind of the limits of it at the moment. Um, it's great for speedrunning Torment 10 um, normal riffs and getting up to sort of Torment 11 equivalent uh, greater rifts, so you can upgrade most of your gems pretty easy to a fair level. Um, if you have any questions, got any comments, leave us um, something below and I will try to reply to you. Um, like and subscribe if you want to, if you don't, eh, it's no biggie. And um, I will catch you guys around. Bye.